Cancer, this is Moon Pytero here to do your end of July love reading. This is going to be for Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits. Just leave the rest. All right, let's get into this. Cancer, what's going on here? Okay, playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And you have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and trust. Very beautiful energy. Okay, let's see what the messages are here. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread. Get you through the rest of July here, okay? Let's see. All right, past position. So you have the three of cups, okay? A position in the past of friendliness, joyfulness, celebration, reunion, uh, spending time with friends or people around you who you felt were supportive of you, okay? Which is very nice, very good energy. Current energy right now. Oh, wow, you have the Nine of Cups. This is awesome. Wishes coming true, manifesting things. Um, having your, <clears throat> like, everything you could possibly need. Um, now, you know, you may not feel that way, but it's definitely around you, and I feel like that's a message of... Being grateful and happy with what you have and not being disappointed with what you don't have. Okay, maybe you had a reunion with someone in the past. Okay, so temperance. It just feels like, a like you know, the past energy could just be recently. It could be a long time ago. The energy is just a sense of feeling balanced and in harmony with others. Okay, so right now, the challenge, okay, the five of swords, wow. Um, I feel like you're biting your tongue in something here in your life. You're trying to stay in a more, you know, let me stay in a more positive uh, place in my life. <clears throat> I do feel like you have something you want to say, definitely. Um, and the challenge is for you to not say something. And I'm not really sure why, but I feel like if there's anything that you it's kind of like you know writing a post and then saving it as a draft or writing a letter uh to get your anger out and then not sending it that's what i feel like it is um you want to send it or you want to say something to people places or things um but you know that the anger probably isn't really anger directed at another person really won't solve your problem i feel like you're some of you might be writing something and then just chucking it, you know, um, just to get your, just to channel it in some way um, and not have your peace disturbed, okay, which is very beautiful. What's driving you right now? Oh, see, you have the Ace of Wands. So, like, you're on some kind of path at the rest of July here. I see, like, new beginnings, potential new starts. You're, you're seeking growth in your life and crowning you. Okay, you've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is like getting into very bold, positive energy for yourself, being brave. It doesn't, it, it, so I feel like you have like, um, there's a blip on the radar here in your life and you're, I just feel like you're saying to yourself, you know what, I'm just going to bite my tongue on this one, just this one, because I know cancer, if there's something you want to say, you'll say it. Um, but for some reason, there's something going on here. It almost feels like, if I say anything, that will actually not have the kind of effect, you know, or if I say it to directly to somebody or if I deliver a message directly to someone or tell somebody off, that's not going to have the kind of effect. The best effect would be to live well. And I feel like that's like the energy that you're in. And with the Queen of Wands, uh, you could be on the cusp of Cancer Leo, like so the end of July birth date. But with the Queen of Wands, I feel like your mindset is, you know what, let me just stay in a good place. The, the Queen of Wands, the fire, passionate energy, that's positive. That's, um, that's that yang energy. Okay, so I feel like you got yourself in a good place. And maybe you started it yesterday, maybe you started a week ago, but you're on like a really good path. And you've got your blessings, and I feel like your energy is, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for me to just, because then I'll, it'll come back, or it'll upset me, or it'll, you know, somebody be trying to throw knives at me. I feel like you're, this 
particular a particular situation or maybe with somebody you're not taking the bait you're not biting um if somebody's trying to you know the benefit is for you to not respond that's what i'm hearing don't respond to something or some words or anything or some actions that somebody is taking all right let's see what the near future is yep you've got the world so walk away leave it alone out with the old and with the new just close that book close that chapter on whatever this situation is that um that you want to say something i feel like leave it alone and your absolute advice here is uh wait hesitate whatever you're thinking of doing if you got something in your mind right now that you you want to like lash out or you want to respond to something or be aggressive the hangman hold your hold your position okay um if you want to try to see it from a different point of view you might get that opportunity but right now hold the position don't say anything it's 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 just that it's not time okay so what's external to you is a king of cups okay male or female energy Ooh, with the six of pentacles okay so cancer scorpio pisces this is somebody external to you whether it's a friend or uh, a lover or a family member or a colleague there's an energy of being breadcrumbed here somebody leaving you perhaps breadcrumbing you and they're being reciprocal but very like instead of like making a gigantic deposit in your heart they're just flipping a couple of coins in there every now and then that might have something to do with this energy um and this person i feel like is they're a bread crummer this person is a bread crummer they don't reveal much um they share across the board everyone is a charity case to them you know um they give a little to regain a lot okay and also there's a king of wands here too so there might be two people okay who are surrounding you and uh, you know what cancer just feels like you're kind of like you know what i'm not dealing with this i'm not dealing with this this any kind of a breadcrumbs from anybody okay so let me just take another look here i'm gonna see with this okay um, all right, so you got one person here who's just breadcrumbing you, and you got a king of wands that's always too busy for you. Now, it doesn't have to be those actual signs, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. doesn't have to be those actual signs, which is two people. One is very action-oriented, always at work, doesn't have time, and the other person is basically just giving a very little. Okay, hopes and fears. Okay, transitioning out of this situation. Um, I feel like cancer you, uh, you you it's it i feel like you really want to say something to somebody or tell somebody off for the way they've been treating you or something um or the way you're being treated but it just feels to me like you're in this place like if i say anything man it's just going to be the same thing over and over again like people don't listen to this so it feels like to me you're just setting boundaries by energetically moving yourself away from the situation energetically moving yourself out of this okay with that sword energy you know you're 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 bypassing the five of swords you're going right to the six like it's not even worth it it's just not even worth it you're doing more of let me show rather than tell all right let me see what the outcome is for you here okay you've got the four of pentacles and the king of swords wow okay oh there's king of swords showing up here at the end of the month gemini libra aquarius and this is somebody who seems to be very possessive over you okay could be a libra uh, the empress is here hmm hmm okay uh, this feels like for some of you it could be like a mother and a brother um why are they showing up like this uh, okay this person all right you've got so, i don't know if this is somebody new to you or showing up um you're getting a lot of communication from somebody at the end of july from um a king of swords 
uh, this person possessive in a sense where um, they also have their heart very closed off, but there's communication, travel, maybe somebody coming in here. I mean, this person views you as like, you know, that in that empress energy, they view you like somebody um, that they want long term with. So I don't know if you um, are outdating or if you're doing anything different, but I feel like you leaving the situation, you know, um, starting a new chapter in your love life here, turning the page, not wasting your time arguing, um, that releases you. Even here with the Six of Swords, releasing, and you're attracting somebody in here for you, okay? Um, this is beautiful energy. This is very beautiful. Let me see. Let me get a couple more messages here and see what else is going on for you. Okay, there you go. Separation, walking away. Um, you know, people are going to be miss you, missing you. Uh, sad that you're leaving, whoever these people are. Maybe it's because they can't take advantage of you anymore. Are you not going to be available for someone? You're not going to allow anyone to breadcrumb you. Um, these people, <laughs> whoever these people were, are become unsure now of what you're doing or what's going on. I feel like you're basically leaving the scene of the crime here. You're just not. You're not giving in, and that's going to instigate these people or per this particular person. It could be one person who's breadcrumbing and was too busy for you, and they show up in different energies. Um, like thinking about you, then they start yearning for you, but it feels to me, <laughs> Cancer, you're like, go ahead, have at it, do what you got to do. Okay, yeah, heartbroken. <laughs> Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Cancer, you have to do what you have to do for yourself, you know? I mean, if you've got people who are just not investing the equal amount of time um, into a relationship and not really even letting you know, or somebody who has stopped investing their time and effort into a relationship and not really saying anything, I mean, you have no choice. Like, what are you going to do, chase them down? <laughs> No, and it looks to me like you are making this decision at this time for yourself, not for punishment, not to do anything else, but for yourself. And as soon as you actually make that transition, then you have somebody like Cupid's Arrows, it's communication with somebody else, um, it starts coming in. Yeah, I look at you here, the world in the near future, becoming indifferent, walking away. So, I mean... This is, this feels mostly like saving yourself from, like saving your sanity, keeping your positive mindset, keeping yourself in a very good uh, nine of cups energy, you know, um, where there's abundance and you have people around you who are supporting you and good friends and there's a lot of balance. So, all right, Cancer, that's going to be your message. I will see you in August. Take care. <laughs>